Luckily, we live in a place where it's pretty good weather just any time of the year, and there is nothing like outdoor entertaining. And I am with one of the maestros of outdoor cocktails, Peter, the bartender at the so popular Boudreaux's on the San Antonio Riverwalk. We're at the beautiful Keith Sars Complex. Incredible pools, outdoor living venues. We'll tell you more about those in just a minute. But first, we're going to make some fun summer we're cocktails, some, right? Yes, we are. Or Katie. outdoor cocktails, anytime. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we doing? We're going to make a michelada for you. We're going to make a, a mojito Perfect. and a uh, raspberry cosmopolitan. First drink we're going to make is the michelada. Uh, we start with the salted rim on a glass, fill with ice. Very simple to make. It's so refreshing, right? Mm hmm. We're going to squeeze some limes in there. We're just going to drop those in. And then your favorite Bloody Mary mix. We're using the uh, house-made Bloody Mary mix from Boudreaux's. And about an ounce of that. And then your favorite beer, which... Can... You're a Dos Equis man. Yeah. And, and there that's it. Is. it. That's it's that it. simple. Mm -hmm. Tangy, this next drink is the Mojito. Really easy to make. You just take some fresh mint leaves, a few squeezes of fresh lime juice, and then to balance out the sweet and sour, or the sour's in there right now, we right. got we use a little bit of uh, simple syrup, which is right. really easy to make. A scoop of ice, and of course, the active ingredient. Gotta rum. have the rum. Mm-hmm. And you wanna shake that up, get that the mint oils mixed in with the lime and the rum. Pour in our glass, top with club soda. And voila, mojito. Mojito time. Next drink we're gonna make is a raspberry cosmopolitan. We're gonna take vodka, about a quarter ounce of triple sec. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. All right. And then some raspberry coulis. And this is just a raspberry about. puree? Mm-hmm. Just reduce down raspberries with sugar. Sugar. Shake that up a lot. I can tell and you've done go. that a time or two. A few times, Candy. Beautiful. Peter, thank you. Now I want to find you're out more welcome, about Candy. these incredible pools. And if you're thinking about putting a pool in your backyard, something amazing like we're seeing here at Keith Sars Pools, we've got just the man to give us a few tips on things you need to know. Because if you've never had a pool in, in your yard and you have kids, Keith, there are some things you need to take into consideration, right? Oh. Right. You want your pool to be designed safely. You want the drains to be safe, the electrical to be safe. In a pool, you, you would like to have a, maybe a lap lane where you can swim some laps, a volleyball area where you can play some volleyball. Well, I find that with kids, it really does become a gathering place. And, it, and it's great because they want their friends to come to your house, and, and it, it, there's just a lot more family time, don't you exactly. think? Exactly. And one of the things on the pool, you want it to have an, an updated look. You want it to be attractive. You want it visually also to draw you to it. And I think we do a very good job of that Well, speaking here. of updates, even if you have an existing pool that maybe is 10, 15 years old, you will do what? Pool remodels, right? Exactly. We've got a great team of guys that do the remodeling for us here. And uh, they're used to going into people's backyards, home, existing homes, and fixing them and remodeling that pool and not destroying the, the backyard. Yeah, and it's a great way to get an entirely new look, an up-to-date look. Up-to-date look, exactly. All right, Keith, thank you so much. Again, we're at Keith Sars Pools. I'll put all of the information right here online. <music>